Hi, my name is Ravi. Today I am working on Toyota Premio 2002 1.8 liter car. Engine is 1 double is a defi. So this car brought here from another garage and their complaints were check engine light is lit, PO 171 system to lean fault code appear as well as emission test was failed. So they have tried to get rid of these issues but still the condition is exist. Uh, so I am going to diagnose it in my way but before that I will show you the emission test report which was failed. Here is the emission report. You can see clearly lambda is over 1 and there are a lot of O2 remains which indicate a lean condition. And simultaneously you can see uh, carbon monoxide is over 3% which this car get into the emission failed. As usual hook up the scan tool and got the health report. You can see that PO 171 system tool lean appear and simultaneously check engine light is lit. Customer complaint is confirmed. Next, I tried to find any clue regarding the ongoing lean condition by observing this freeze frame data. But unfortunately, I found nothing unless uh, short term and long term fuel trims are positively way more high. So that is clearly indicate a lean condition. So freeze frame data is not helpful. So let's go backward and check the live data stream. Tap on the live data. But we have to wait a little bit more time than the other cars. This is an older version and pretty slow communication speed with the scan tool. Okay, I select several data pits here. First of all, I select engine speed here and then uh, I would like to see the coolant temperature. And I would like to see several data pits uh, in order to find what is going on with the ongoing lean condition. So I select here intake air temperature, long term full trim and MAF sensor data and injector uh, ignition advance and then uh, O2 sensor, bank 1 sensor 1 and short term full trim uh, and throttle position. I think that is enough. So let's uh, go and see the data stream. Okay, engine is running. So let's go to the graph mode in order to observe the data uh, more clearly. So yeah, it is pretty clear. You can see that short term fuel trim and long term fuel trims are positively way more high that indicate uh, over 40% of total trim uh, indicate really, really huge lean condition. So at a first glance, I saw that uh, this number one oxygen sensor, that means bank one oxygen sensor is stuck in the lean side. So in the lean condition, I don't know whether it is stuck in the lean side or uh, maybe something could cause for uh, make this oxygen sensor data stuck in the lean condition. We have to find out uh, what is going on. Okay, when I observe all the data pits together and analyze them, uh, what I found that airflow sensor is good and intake air temperature is good, uh, injector flow is good. So all the things seems good and engine tune up has done already. So I'm pretty confident that this oxygen sensor should be a bad one. Uh, that is why it get into a such a huge lean condition. But however, we have to prove it. So I go to the next test. Okay, my next test was measure the fuel pressure. I have hooked up the fuel pressure gauge uh, right now here. You can see that. And I measured the fuel pressure because I need to make sure is there any fuel delivery issue. Because if there is a fuel delivery issue, it could cause for such a huge lean condition. But... Uh, it clearly indicate you can see here it is over 35 psi which is pretty normal for this car uh, keep running in a good condition so we are confident enough now uh, fuel pressure couldn't cause for the lean condition which is going on right now in this car but uh, i'm really confident about the oxygen sensor already i did uh, check the oxygen sensor before call on the oxygen sensor I check the wiring harness uh, in order to check the wiring integrity because if there is any wiring issue so it could cause for the oxygen sensor data which we show that it was stuck in the lean condition but I found nothing wrong with the wiring integrity everything's okay I'm confident enough enough to call on this oxygen sensor so Next, we bought a new oxygen sensor and replaced the oxygen sensor. I will show what is going on after the uh, replacing new oxygen sensor. Other than a fuel delivery issue, airflow sensor, 
issue or intake air temperature sensor issue or vacuum leak could lead a car into a lean condition. But I was able to uh, observe and analyze the scan data and isolate those things out from this car that uh, definitely not affect for this car lean condition going on right now. Okay, here is the aftermarket brand new oxygen sensor we bought here right now. So let's fit this new oxygen sensor into the exhaust manifold and we'll see the data stream again. Okay, fit the brand new oxygen sensor into the exhaust manifold and plug the connector. So let's go to the scan data and see what is going on with this brand new oxygen sensor. Okay, tap on the live data stream and go to the live data stream and we'll see the oxygen sensor data. But I have to wait a little bit more longer time as I said you earlier, this is pretty slow communication speed with the scan tool. So let's see what is going on. Okay, uh, so I load again several data feed, engine speed, coolant temperature and here MEF long term fuel trims and oxygen sensor data with the intake care temperature and the short term fuel trim. Also throttle position sensor data. Okay, let's go to the graph mode and let's start the car. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see what is going on with the oxygen sensor data. Yeah, do you see that it is responsing? So it is no more stuck in the lean condition. Now it seems uh, switching between rich and lean. But uh, I think it, it need a little bit more time because it need to be warmed up. It is a uh, newly installed sensor. However, you know that we have a very slow speed data transfer between the engine control module and the scanner so i go backward and unselect all the data pits and just select the uh, oxygen sensor data pit here here it is and let's go to the graph mode yeah you can see that voltage trace is uh, going in the upper limit it need to be switched uh, between rich and lean but however i believe it need little bit more time to be warmed up so i rev up the engine a little bit here you can see that uh, now it is switching between rich and lean So I go to the backward and select other data pits again because I need to see what is going on with the fuel trim data. So it is compensating or not. So let's select uh, some other data pits with the uh, fuel trim data. Here I select short term fuel trim and throttle position. So I go ahead. Yeah, uh, let's go to the graph mode here. So you can see that yeah, short term fuel trim is minus 20 and long term fuel trim is positive 24. So perfectly compensating and now it is uh, balancing the air fuel mixture so uh, that is confirmed this car is fixed okay i would like to take this car into a test run before that i would like to clear all the fault codes here you can see what are the fault codes available here so clear all the dtcs yes and then uh, let's make a test run here we are in the test run, car is fully warmed up. Let's see uh, what is happening in the data stream here. So you can see that the oxygen sensor is uh, switching between rich and lean and the fuel trim data is in a perfect condition. Long term is around positive 8% and long term is fluctuating around minus values. So uh, it is compensating more and more. So it has a perfect fuel trim condition right now so i can confirm this car is fixed thank you for watching stay subscribed with us for more diagnostic videos